It seems like wherever Kim Kardashian goes, she can't escape controversy and criticism. This time, it happened at one of the most opulent events in the world, the Ambani wedding. Instagram posts showcased the presence of numerous famous celebrities at this grand affair, including Kim and Khloe Kardashian. However, according to some Indian sources, the Kardashian sisters didn't receive the warmest reception from the family hosts and other celebrities. The question remains, why were they even invited? For those puzzled about why Kim and Khloe were in India in the first place, it appears the reality TV family has a close relationship with the bride and groom. In one social media post, Kim was seen holding hands with the groom's mother, Nita Ambani, as they entered a wedding venue, indicating some level of personal connection. Even if the Kardashians weren't best friends with the Ambanis. Their presence at the wedding could have been due to the guest list being a who's who of global celebrities. Such invitations are often mutually beneficial. The Kardashians gain clout by mingling with high-profile guests outside their usual circles, and the Ambanis draw even more global attention to their family and their businesses. A celebrity-filled guest list is a win-win for billionaires looking to boost their prestige. Despite this, Kim Kardashian's relevance in the fashion world has been waning. She's reported reportedly being sidelined by major fashion houses, and her presence at high-profile events doesn't seem to carry the same weight it once did. This decline in fashion influence might explain why she was treated poorly at the Ambani wedding, as the hosts and other celebrities may not see her as a significant figure in the fashion industry anymore. The fashion world is in uproar as Balenciaga takes a bold stance against Kim Kardashian following allegations of design theft. After Anna Wintour initiated legal action against Kim for allegedly stealing designs for her brand Skims, Balenciaga has decided to ban Kim Kardashian from their esteemed fashion circles. This move by Balenciaga underscores the gravity of the situation, highlighting the importance of integrity and originality in the fashion industry. Kim Kardashian's alleged actions of stealing designs and claiming them as her own have sparked outrage among designers and fashion enthusiasts alike. Anna Wintour's lawsuit against Kim Kardashian set a precedent for holding individuals accountable for unethical practices in the fashion world. By banning Kim Kardashian, Balenciaga is sending a clear message that such behavior will not be tolerated. The fallout from this controversy is significant, with Kim Kardashian facing backlash from both the fashion community and the public. As one of the most influential figures in the industry, Kim's actions have far-reaching consequences that could impact her reputation and future ventures. Amidst the controversy, the fashion world is reaffirming its commitment to integrity and creativity, with Balenciaga leading the charge in upholding these values. Values. As the legal battle unfolds, the repercussions for Kim Kardashian and the fashion industry as a whole remain to be seen. Recently, Anna Wintour, the influential editor-in-chief of Vogue, garnered attention by publicly addressing Kim Kardashian and commencing legal proceedings against her for purportedly appropriating designs for her Skims brand. This dispute has not only brought to light the complexities of the fashion realm, but also exposed a divide between two prominent figures in the industry. Central to the issue is the allegation that Kim Kardashian's Skims brand has been copying the designs of other brands and designers. Anna Wintour, renowned for her discerning eye and commitment to maintaining the integrity of the fashion sector, has taken a resolute stance against such actions. According to reports, numerous designers have approached Vogue, presenting evidence that certain Skims products closely resemble their original creations. To grasp the seriousness of the accusations, it is imperative to examine specific instances where Skims products products are alleged to have imitated designs from other brands. Similarities in lingerie, shapewear, and loungewear have been highlighted, prompting Anna Wintour to pursue legal action against Kim Kardashian and Skims. The fashion community awaits the outcome of this legal battle, which has the potential to reshape the narrative around Kim's venture into the world of fashion. In her statement addressing the design controversy, Anna Wintour expressed her disappointment with Kim Kardashian and Skims. Wintour, a pivotal figure in shaping the fashion landscape, emphasized the significance of originality and creativity. She highlighted the role of designers in bringing unique visions to life and condemned any attempts to replicate or imitate without proper attribution. The connection between Kim Kardashian and Anna Wintour can be traced back to the involvement of Kanye 
West, Kim's former husband. Kanye, a well-known fashion enthusiast and designer himself, played a crucial role in forging a connection between Kim and the fashion elite. His influence ensured Kim received coveted invitations to the prestigious Met Gala, a highlight of the fashion calendar. Kim Kardashian's attendance at the Met Gala sparked debate, with some questioning whether her celebrity status alone warranted a place at the prestigious event. Anna Wintour, as the gatekeeper of the Met Gala, has been central to decisions regarding guest lists. Kanye West's influence and the high-profile appearances of the power couple became synonymous with the event. However, given the accusations of design theft and Anna Wintour's perception of a breach in fashion ethics, her stance on Kim Kardashian's future involvement in the Met Gala has undergone a shift. Wintour, renowned for her uncompromising approach to upholding the integrity of the fashion industry, has explicitly stated that she believes Kim Kardashian no longer merits a place at forthcoming Met Gala events. As news of the legal proceedings and Anna Wintour's declarations circulate, the controversy has reverberated throughout the fashion and entertainment realms. Various segments of the public, the fashion community, and celebrities are voicing diverse opinions on the issue. Some contend that the accusations could damage Kim Kardashian's standing in the fashion industry, while others question the motives behind the sudden change in Anna Wintour's position. Anna Wintour's choice to publicly address Kim Kardashian and initiate legal action against her reflects a broader dedication to upholding ethical standards within the fashion domain. As the editor-in-chief of Vogue and a leading figure in the industry, Wintour's actions establish a precedent for how the fashion community addresses allegations of design theft and unethical conduct. In response to the accusations and legal proceedings, Kim Kardashian has been defending Skims and affirming the brand's dedication to originality. Kim's legal team is gearing up to mount a strong defense against the allegations, highlighting that Skims' designs are the product of careful creativity and innovation. The outcome of this legal dispute will undoubtedly have ramifications for Skims and Kim Kardashian's broader fashion empire. The controversy has prompted consumers to reassess their perceptions of Skims as a brand, considering the ethical ramifications of design integrity. Additionally, the allegations may impact Kim's standing within the fashion community and affect her future collaborations and partnerships. The clash between Anna Winter and Kim Kardashian regarding the accusations of design theft has provided insight into the intricacies of the fashion industry. Beyond the superficial allure, the controversy underscores the significance of ethical standards, authenticity, and the impact of influential individuals on shaping the industry's narrative. As video footage circulated widely on social media, showcasing Anna Winter's detachment from Kim Kardashian during the event, the public gained a unique insight into the dynamics unfolding within this high-profile gathering. The once prominent friendship between Wintour and Kardashian appeared to have significantly diminished. In the initial footage, Kim Kardashian was seated beside Anna Wintour, awaiting an acknowledgement or interaction that never materialized. However, the narrative took an even more intriguing twist when subsequent footage revealed that Wintour had physically distanced herself from Kardashian, leaving fans and observers to ponder the motivations behind this gesture. Internet users chimed in with their perspectives, with some speculating that Anna Wintour may have favored the younger, more popular, and differently styled individuals over Kim Kardashian. Although speculative, this theory sparked discussions about the evolving standards of beauty in the realm of public image, with some suggesting that Kim's significant aesthetic transformations did not align with contemporary sensibilities. To Anna Winter, it seemed that Kim Kardashian had evolved from being a valued asset to an incongruous presence in the world of vogue and high fashion. This perception was reinforced by her actions during the event, leaving a lasting impression on the public psyche. The treatment Kim Kardashian received at the hands of Anna Wintour and the subsequent scrutiny by fans and media outlets raised questions about her standing within the industry and the implications of her evolving image. Some pondered whether she would continue to receive invitations to significant events or whether she would be sidelined to the periphery of the fashion world, becoming a relic of a bygone era. Interestingly, opinions about Kim Kardashian have always been varied, reflecting the complexity of her public persona. She has endured her fair share of awkward moments, with one such incident occurring at a Fashion Week show just a year prior. At that event, Kim Kardashian found herself in an uncomfortable interaction with both Anna Wintour and Sarah Jessica Parker, adding intrigue to the situation. It's worth noting that Kim's history 
history with Anna Winter includes a well-documented ban from the Met Gala back in 2012, adding a layer of complexity to their relationship. During New York Fashion Week, Kim found herself seated near both Anna Winter and Sarah Jessica Parker, setting the stage for another potentially awkward encounter. When Winter, who had been seated beside Kim, approached Parker, Kim mistakenly assumed that Winter was approaching her. What followed was a moment of miscommunication and awkwardness as Kim Kardashian greeted Wintour with a friendly hello and even adjusted her bag and phone in her hands, expecting a warm hug or kiss on the cheek. However, the reality star's warm reception was met with a cold shoulder as Wintour continued her conversation with Sarah Jessica Parker, leaving Kim in a state of discomfort and uncertainty. The awkwardness of this encounter did not escape those present, swiftly becoming a topic of discussion in the media and on social platforms. The incident served as a stark reminder of the intricate dynamics within the high-stakes world of fashion and celebrity. Adding to the intrigue, Kim Kardashian was noticeably absent from the cover of V Magazine's Met Ball issue, further igniting speculation about her status in the fashion world. Reports suggested that Anna Wintour was displeased with certain guests who had flouted the event's strict no-selfie policy that year. According to VH1's The Gossip Table, Wintour had made it clear that there would be repercussions for anyone who disregarded her request. An insider disclosed that Anna Wintour was well-informed about the celebrities who had ignored her directive. Intriguingly, Kim Kardashian happened to be among the guests who couldn't resist sharing photos of herself, mingling with her then-spouse Kanye West. Kim later confessed that she had initially left her phone at home in an attempt to exercise restraint, but had ended up using Kanye West's phone instead. This sequence of events, coupled with Kim's past Met Gala ban, highlighted the evolving perception of Kim Kardashian within the industry. It's clear that Anna Winter's distant and aloof attitude toward Kim Kardashian is a recurring theme whenever their paths cross. This discord traces its origins back to Kim's rise in Hollywood, with insiders suggesting that it ultimately stems from Wintour's unfavorable opinion of her. A source revealed, Anna doesn't view Kim as someone who belongs at an event that hosts the biggest stars in the world. This sentiment implies that Kim Kardashian may not fit the exclusivity and prestige associated with events like the Met Gala, which command tickets priced at $25,000 each. Interestingly, Kim Kardashian had previously encountered challenges in securing an invitation to the Met Gala, even though her then-boyfriend Kanye West attended the prestigious fashion event solo. Her absence from the event, despite her high-profile relationship, garnered attention and sparked discussions about her position in the realm of high fashion. The recurring question arising from these occurrences is whether Anna Wintour's consistent exclusion signifies a waning influence and relevance for Kim Kardashian. It's crucial to recognize Anna Wintour's significant power and sway within the fashion industry. Given her pivotal role as the gatekeeper of Vogue, her decisions wield considerable weight and can significantly impact careers. By repeatedly snubbing Kim Kardashian, Wintour is conveying a clear message regarding her perception of Kardashian's standing within the fashion world. Essentially, these recurring rejections imply that Anna Wintour does not see Kim Kardashian's style or brand as aligning with the elevated fashion standards epitomized by Vogue. While Kim Kardashian initially rose to fame through her reality show, Keeping Up With The Kardashians, she has since built a substantial empire, encompassing her own fashion and beauty ventures. However, a persistent argument persists that her celebrity status overshadows her fashion credentials, casting doubts on her inclusion in high-profile fashion events and publications. Anna Wintour's continual exclusion of Kim Kardashian from such gatherings further reinforces this perception. As the narrative unfolds, the lingering question is whether this consistent rejection will hinder Kim Kardashian's efforts to establish herself as a fashion icon. Additionally, Kim Kardashian faced backlash for her handling of controversies, including her involvement with Balenciaga's art campaign and her fashion choices, notably a Marilyn Monroe-inspired dress from the previous year. Her attire drew criticism from both industry traditionalists and those concerned about her weight loss regimen, which she maintained was necessary to fit into the garment. In the midst of this high-stakes battle, one thing is clear. Anna Wintour's ban on the Kardashians has sparked a heated discussion about the intersection of fame, influence, and reputation in the world of fashion. As the saga unfolds, the fashion world awaits the outcome of this clash of titans with bated breath.